What's going on, everybody? It's Craving Gaming here with another episode of our Total War game. But this time, it's not going to be a regular episode. It is going to be a tutorial episode, as requested by one of our viewers, Edward Ravinovic. I can't pronounce your last name. I am so sorry about that. But let's get into it. So he asked a question on YouTube via comment on our first Austria campaign video, asking how and how the heck do you do taxes? For your provinces so i said hey good question we're gonna do it so to take a look details, oh, gathers God, together boy. essential statistics uh, and i gotta turn that off real quick your entire empire get out advisors don't like you don't need you okay now so get into the government and you see your policies tab that's your taxes tab that gives you all the information you're going to need to know. That tells you your total income from taxes. And these are the tax level bars. You can tick them up by sliding like that. And it shows you where you'd be sitting public order wise via different tax levels. So you have two different bars. You have the nobility tax and the lower class tax. So both of these have different effects. So the nobility, they have greater wealth and you'll gain more from taxing them, but they are often your greatest supporters in uh, in the governmental standpoint, so making them angry is not very uh, very good. So, And then you have your lower class tax tab, and they're the ones that incite rebellions and things like that. So it's very good to keep them happy, or at least moderately happy. So as you can see by ticking them up, it changes the public order screen above. So yellow means that it's neutral, there's no growth, no decay green like in Vienna here or Tyrol that basically means that hey they're happy and then red as you can see when I tick up the tax like that means they are massively PO'd so to control this you want to have an even balance of yellow and green you don't want to see any red on your map like that like if you see that then you're in trouble and you need to change something but if you have it to where it's just yellow and green then you have no problem. So as you can see right now, like, look, my taxes, I increase the income by 1,000, but I'm staying at the same public order generally around my provinces because I set up that tick to the nobility. So it's basically a, uh, a game of, um, of try and keep them happy while keeping your income up. Because as you can see in the regular government national summary tab, my income here is already 3,000. That is not bad at all. I'd be happy with that. So if your public order is bad, then I suggest if you have that amount of income to turn down your taxes a little bit so that way you can uh, accommodate their needs as well as your own needs with your income. And so you want to you wanna put an equal balance of income and, and angriness because like if you have an income of 200 coin per turn or whatever francs I don't know how the uh, what the income is measured in in this game but if you only have like 200 you you're okay if you see a little bit of red on there because if you deduct any more tax like if you bring it down here to get it back to yellow then that means you're gonna be going negative for your income and you're gonna be depleting what little money you most likely already have so if you need to it is okay to tax them a little bit higher and I'll show you a way that you can kind of get around that here. Um, there are some easy ways. So in here, in your minister's tab of your government, and this works for uh, empire, empire, not empire, as well. If you go into your treasury tab and you, if he's like a, a three star or below talent level, you can fire your ministers and that will give a new minister to your cabinet and that will give you better bonuses so as you can see mine is a five star treasury guy so he gives better tax rate better trade route income and better town wealth which all translates into a better income so that's one way you can fix your income and taxes another way is if you have some serious public order problems you can go into your individual settlements click on the name here and you can click exempt from tax so as you can see that gives you serious public order hike there but it gets rid of your repression bonuses, I believe, maybe. No, it gets rid of some of your town watch bonuses. Because town watch is paid by the government. So if you have no tax in that region, then the government doesn't pay for the town watch. 
but it makes them more uh, more happy in turn. So that's an that's a way. It does get rid of whatever income you have in that settlement. So as you can see, my 570 coin is now gone from Budapest, which is not that great. But if you need to do it to prevent a rebellion, I say definitely do it. Same thing here in Vienna. If you exempt from tax, there it goes down 2,000 income. So that's the basics here. Uh, I'm going to pause it here, see if I have any more information to bestow, and then I'll come right back. Alright guys, just a couple more tips for you before we end the part here. So, another way to control your public order and still allow you to keep those higher tax rates if you need it would be to garrison troops in your settlements, because as you can see I've got a small army here. If you take them outside the settlement, look, the public order dropped down to uh, a yellow state. And then if you put them in, there they go, it's back to green, and they're stable. So, if you have a settlement that is very, very angry with you, but you still need that tax income to stay afloat, station an army of troops in there, or some militia units, and that will keep your settlement afloat. And you won't have a rebellion or any sort of problems like that. And a rule of thumb is the more units that you station in a settlement, the greater the public order bonus will be. Because that adds to your repression bonus and your character bonus for public order. And that will allow you to, to uh, get your settlements back up into the green zone, which is really what you want. So, I think that's it for right now on, uh, on the tips and tricks. And... Anu one last tip, though, is if you have really low income and you have more military than you need, like let's say you're at peace but you have like five full stack armies, go through and, and wipe out one of those armies that you don't need. So if you have one that's close to your capital and you have large tracts of land, take down at least like half of that army. That will give you back your, your, um, your income because look, let's look at recruitment here real quick. If you Let's take a look at the Fusiliers. So per turn upkeep is 150 coin. So each unit of fusiliers or line infantry, depending on what country you have, is costing you 150 income coin per turn. So if you can get rid of that, then your income will stabilize like that, and you'll be able to increase your repression and things in your regions just by building. So those are just a couple quick tips to help you guys out. And if you like this video and want to see more of it, make sure you comment in the box below. Give it a thumbs up. And then drop a subscribe too. Check out my other videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Craven Gaming. See you later, Cravers.